Xiaomi India is partnering with the Yuvraj Singh Foundation to launch Swast Mahila Swast Bharat, which will enable the screening of 1.5 lakh women across 15 states in this country over the next one year. And not just that, we will also engage in awareness creation, which perhaps is a lot more important because what we do should not be limited just to one year. It should spread across multiple generations and hence education and awareness creation is equally important. Together, we hope to create a much more stronger, safer environment for all women in India because healthier women would mean a healthier, stronger nation. And on this note, it's my privilege to invite on stage the one and only, the peerless fighter, the champion, the ace cricketer, the all-rounder, and someone with a golden heart, Yuvi Paji, over to you, sir. To all the esteemed guests, media, uh, thank you, Murli, for your kind words and explaining uh, about Swast, my last Swast Bharat initiative that we're doing together. Uh, this is something that we're doing for a second time. Obviously, you explained in length uh, the reason why we're here. Congratulations on your 10 years in your industry. Uh, hopefully, many big things are coming for you, for us together. I think it's also been 11 years for you, Can Foundation, in trying to do something, something out there for people. I think. Uh, Congratulations to my team as well for this initiative and all my doctors and uh, my team uh, who are present here. And I think um, I think I can, uh, as Murli said, you know, Xiaomi has done some great things the last 10 years and hopefully we can also make a difference in society by doing something great like you. Uh, have a few pointers that what we have done uh, in our last 10 years, um, I mean, if you if you look at the impact that UV can has created, you know, we have more than 4 lakh women educated about breast cancer. We've had treatment of more than 350 children battling cancer. We've had more than 650 scholarships given to cancer recovery for children um, as Murli said, uh, you know, Xiaomi was our first, pa first partners to do that. And we have provided more than 1,000 beds, uh, critical care beds, during COVID. And we also distributed 1,000, 1 million hygiene kits distributed at the same time. I mean, this time around, we have come together to support breast cancer through the Swast Mahila Swast Bar initiative. Uh, as you saw the stats, in India, a woman dies of breast cancer every eight minutes. Only nine out of 100 women in India have ever been screened. In rural areas, there's a lack of awareness, and there are many stigmas atta attached to screening. Many women discover breast cancer too late. Early detection can save lives. Solution. Swast Mahila Swast Bara initiative with Xiaomi India to reach 1.5 lakh women across 15 states of India. We plan to complete the target in the next 12 months. Our goal is to empower women with knowledge and early detection tools. Well, here was the, here what I read. <clears throat> I'm not much of a guy who... Mm. talks from the from the paper uh, I'm someone who talks from the heart uh, I think I don't want to talk about about my journey over here what happened to me and how I recovered and all that I mean I'm sure a lot of people you know uh, about a little bit of my journey but I think why we here today is to make a difference to the society uh, we are in a really good position to help others, right? We often, the challenges that we face as people every day, uh, 
it's hard to talk about these challenges. But when it comes to society, we need to talk about them. You know, Swas Mahila initiative is important because it could be your mother, it could be your sister, it could be your daughter, you know, who are, who's struggling with breast cancer or many other cancer forms. Um, if you, if in your family someone's going through it and someone you know, you will definitely stand up. But a lot of people don't stand up because some people's lives are going hunky and dory. I just feel that as people, we need to talk about these issues. We need to address them. What is close to you, what is close to you in society. But the point is that we talk a lot. Um, Xiaomi, we spoke, they did it. They got up and did it. Um, UE can, we try and do it every day. But the point is that there has to be more work and less talking uh, in the society. My message to media is that who are people who are going to be listening to this is get up and do something about it. If you have something close to, I'm not talking about just cancer, I'm just not talking about, yes, we have here for this initiative today. But my urge is to people out there is to get up and do something in the society, what, what is close to them, whether it's any cause, whether it's cancer, whether it's polio or any other form, anything that is defeat, defeating the society, help the society if you're in their position. And uh, that's, that's one reason why I want to be here is to address that issue. But the main reason why I'm here is that uh, is because of my foundation and Xiaomi supporting us Hopefully, we can do bigger things in the future. And the key issue here is that early, early detection. Uh, I think I was someone who was running away from it because I just didn't want to lo lose uh, my spot um, in, in Indian cricket. And that's why I kept running away from it. So uh, probably not the right message out there, but you know, it's really important that we, if we have an issue, we go and address it. We don't hang back. Uh, you get scared. Uh, you feel you feel what's going to happen to my life. But I'm sure there's a lot of good support out there. The the good doctors, um, the good people. Uh, you know, talk to your family, talk to your friends, um, because early detection is key and. Don't be scared. It's uh, it's hard. It's um, it's gonna test you. But the point is that you have to you have to come out of it, and you don't have a choice. Cancer cannot defeat you. That's the mindset you need to have, and that's the mindset. That's the reason why I'm standing here in front of you. So thank you, Murli. Thank you, Xiaomi, uh, for your support. And hopefully we can do some bigger things in the future. Thank you all for coming here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, Yuvi Pajit, thank you. Thank you so much for uh, agreeing to have this sit-down session. Um, some of these questions I'm sure you've answered many times before, but this is a special audience, a special afternoon. So I, I thought it would be a good occasion to just wind back in time. Um, how old was it? 19 years old when you made your debut? 2000, if I recall right, about 19 years. Um, and then there is this entire Yuvrat Singh story. Um, you've worked it your own way, you've played your own way, and created impact in your own special way. And of course, faced adversity. Um, give us a highlight reel of this Yuvrat Singh story. What can we learn from it? Uh, thank you, Murli. It's hard to put a reel in 30 seconds. But I'll try. Um, it could take longer. <laughs> so I think I was precisely 18 years and eight, uh, 18 years and eight or nine months, eight months, nine, ten months when I played for India. <coughs> and I think um, the reason why I played for India that that early, I think it was the training that was provided by my father. I won't get much into it, but um, yeah, I think. Uh, Cricket has taught me a lot. I think I uh, always talk about how it's taught me to be successful, 
the failures, what I've learned from it, in obvi and obviously uh, adversity in terms of when I got struck by cancer. But cancer has just been a part of many battles that I've, that I've won. And uh, <clears throat> I think that's the reason why I come here and say cancer cannot defeat you. You need to defeat cancer. You want to defeat cancer and that should be your mindset. And I think in people's lives, when somebody is going through cancer, um, they need to be positive around that person uh, in terms of getting, pulling them through it. So I think that's what in my life people has done for me, my family, my close friends. They have pulled me through adversity with positivity. And obviously the motivation of me coming back to cricket was a big uh, positive and a motivator that I want to go back and play for India when I was sick. I think a lot of people didn't agree with me, uh, but I think that was a big motivator for me to come back and uh, stand on my feet. So, yeah. Great. Uh, so, A, cancer cannot defeat you. B, you need a key motivation to pull yourself through. And C, the support of people, friends, family, etc. makes a world of difference. Now, completely point taken. But moving on, uh, from being a sportsman, a champion, um, of course, overcoming this adversity, you went on to do something which will change thousands of lives by setting up this foundation. I think these are legacy creating moments. Uh, future generations will remember you equally for this, if not more. How did that come about? How did you think of Yuvraj Singh Foundation? And I must tell you, such a lovely name, UV can. Uh, perhaps the best name that I have come across. Uh, so tell us about how this foundation came about. I think if I look back, uh, while I was getting treated, you know, the motivation straight away came back that I definitely want to go back and do something for society. You know, we started looking at the numbers. Uh, we, I had some friend and fa friends and family over there, connected with some people in uh, Indianapolis when I was in America, and say, let's, let's see what we can do back home, right? And then we were talking to Lance Armstrong's foundation in America and uh, you know we got some ideas what, what they do for uh, their foundation. And uh, I think from Yuvraj Singh Foundation, I think UE Can was something that something came very naturally. Uh, UE is, is my name as well. People, my, everybody calls me that. Uh, and I think U and V together means that together we can fight cancer. You cannot win something alone, I, I believe. Whether it's a championship, whether it's battling cancer, you need good people around you. And uh, you need people to put that positive positivity into you that you can do this. So that's why the whole meaning of you, we together can fight. If you and we are together, we can fight any obstacle, I feel. That's how the name came. Perfect name. Couldn't think of a better one. Um, now, moving on to the topic for the afternoon, uh, one of breast cancer. Uh, while cancer itself is something which has, you know, a certain stigma attached to it, I think with breast cancer it's, it's a little bit more extreme. Um, what has the work that's been done till date and how do you think our initiative, uh, Swas Mahila, Swas Bharat, can make a difference? Uh, I mean, if I <coughs> go back a little bit, you know, when I think my uh, Nani had breast cancer. My uh, Masi, my mother's sister, had breast cancer twice. Um, and the point is that I have seen them suffer. I have suffered myself. Cancer is is around. Can happen to anyone. Everybody has one percent cancer cells in their body. And any time that could go wrong. You know that's the fact and reality of life, which as humans we run away from. We run away from reality. Uh, I think since I came back, I think it was a big moment for me to live in reality, uh, to be to be uh, fighting uh, fighting cancer. It came. It, it got me back to reality. This can happen to anyone. Uh, when we talk about Swast Mahila, Swast Bharat, you know, uh, they always say that 
it's very important for a household that my mother is happy, my wife is happy, my sister is happy. That's why, but the point is that if your health is good, everything is good. If you have health, you have wealth. If you don't have health, um, your, your wealth cannot support you much. Your health is your wealth. So when we talk about Swas Mehla, Swas Bad means if our woman is good, if our woman is happy, she's healthy, everything is good. Fantastic. Um, and before we wrap up, uh, there are people here, we have a live stream, so there are tens and thousands of people watching us on live stream. What's the message that you want to leave behind with them? Overcoming adversity, cancer can't defeat you are important messages, but how do you want them to view life in, in that positive manner? Well we, well, we are here because of breast cancer. We are here because of Swas Mahila, Swas Bhat campaign. You know, a lot of women listening out there is that I know how it feels. I know it can scare you. Uh, when it scares you, you don't want to go for a test. You think about, you know, when you look at below poverty land, you think about what if I get tested? How will I get the funds to get treated? I mean, that was our, initially our, our struggle with the foundation. But thanks to you, you know, we've overcome that and we can, you know, go out there and treat uh, a lot of people. And it's just that I know it's scary, I know it's hard. But the point is that it's important that people who, uh, who love you and who are around you, they deserve uh, your happiness. And we want you to get better. It's not only because it is your life. Your life also is our life. So, you know, as I said before, like, it's your mother or it's your sister or it's your daughter. You want to make sure that they are going to get better. You want to put that positivity in them that we are there for you and you are going to get through this and, and you know, just, just positive thoughts a positive moments, just getting them to, you know, understand that you're going to overcome this. I think words have a lot of power. I think words can really motivate us. So you need to motivate uh, whoever is going through adversity and trust you, words can, uh, can move the world. So I think we're here for you. Uh, Xiaomi, you we can, we, we partner together for this big initiative, but every life is important to us and every Mahila is important to us. That's why we're here. Fantastic, fantastic. And incidentally, Xiaomi's logo is MI, so people affectionately call us me, so you and me also makes we, <laughs> which is you we can. That's another way of looking at it. Uh, uh, thank you so much, Yubi Paji. Um, like I said earlier, we are humbled with this opportunity to make this difference. This is our largest social impact initiative till date, but very confident that there will be bigger, more impactful things for us to do ahead in the future. Thank you once again for, us, for being with us this afternoon. Take care. Thank you. It's been our largest uh, social impact as well, so hopefully we can do bigger things together. Thank you.